Mr. Chen, thanks for taking the interview with the South China Morning Post. Um, the government has to dig deep into the fiscal reserves after delivering a massive relief measures to yes. help tackle the uh, ep uh, epidemic. And uh, do you have confidence that Hong Kong can still withstand any financial attack at the moment? Yes, I'm very confident that we would be able to withstand any financial attack for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, in terms of resources available to us, uh, we are in a very strong position. Uh, for fiscal reserve, after these massive relief measures, we expect we will still have about 800 to 900 billion in our fiscal reserve. And in addition to that, under the exchange fund, exchange fund has an aggregate asset of over 410 billion US dollar. Uh, this is also available uh, to tackle uh, financial stability related issues. Uh, thirdly, we have an swap arrangements with the People's Bank of China, whereby we can give them uh, Hong Kong dollar and they can give us US dollar. And in our discussion with them, they pledge uh, unreserved support to Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority has reached agreement with the U.S. Federal Reserve uh, to give us a swap arrangement, uh, I mean a repo arrangement, whereby uh, Hong Kong MA can use their Treasury bills holdings in exchange for U.S. dollar uh, liquidity from the U.S. Fed. So on the resources side, we have multiple resources available to us. And then secondly, in terms of the banking sector, we, our banking sector is very well capitalized, uh, very resilient. The banking sector has been operating at a profit for years. Uh, the quality of their assets are very good. Finally, uh, in the government, along with the regulators, we are taking a intermarket coordinated daily monitoring of the situation. Uh, we are not just monitoring the cash market, we are also monitoring the futures market, the derivatives market. We are continuing to be watching very closely and very carefully uh, the, the uh, market situation to ensure the financial stability of Hong Kong is secure. Given the lowering level of fiscal reserves, um, is the government prepared or is the government uh, uh, think it's the right timing to raise more funds by issuing bonds, for example? At this juncture, we have no plan to issue bonds to finance the deficit uh, occasion caused by the uh, anti-epidemic uh, initiatives. Uh, yes, coming year, we are going to have a very significant uh, budget deficit which can be as high as 10% of our GDP. But if we were to issue bonds to finance this, the market may misinterpret that the government uh, may loosen our financial discipline in order to fund the deficit. Uh, over the past few years, our policy objective in terms of issuing bonds is very specific and clear. So in the future, I will consider if there are suitable infrastructure projects uh, worth inve investing, then we may issue bonds. But I won't issue bonds to finance our budget deficit. Okay, the last question. Um, facing the uncertainties ahead of the um, a new coronavirus outbreak, um, do you think the government would uh, revise downward the GDP forecast? And what's your take on the unemployment rate? Is it going to rise continuously? In de delivering the budget towards the end of February, I gave a GDP forecast for this year for Hong Kong in the range of negative 1.5% to positive 0.5%. Given the epidemic situation in Hong Kong and globally, I think it is inevitable that we have to revise downward our economic growth this year. We are in recession. 
uh, it, it is very certain. Uh, we are assessing the situation. We plan to release a more up-to-date economic forecast uh, at the beginning of May. As to the, as to the unemployment rate, uh, currently it is about, I mean, at, at, at the end of February, it was about 3.7%, already nine year high. Uh, sadly, this is set to rise. That is why we roll out the uh, employment support measures with a view to mitigate the situation. Uh, uh, it may continue to rise further. But hopefully, with the concerted effort of the community uh, in fighting the epidemic, we can return to normal as soon as possible. And with the, uh, the recently announced uh, package of measures uh, to deal with the, the employment and econ economic challenge, uh, we will be better able to mitigate the pressure on the labor market.